This morning, the highly criticized ATF gun walking operation known as Fast and Furious is being linked to another murder. CBS News investigative correspondent Cheryl Atkinson, who first reported the gun walking story back in February, has the latest from Washington this morning. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. This is an extraordinary development. The murder is that of the brother of a high-ranking Mexican state official tortured and killed by drug cartel narco-terrorists. Mario Gonzalez Rodriguez was kidnapped in October. He's shown here handcuffed and surrounded by hooded captors in Mexico last fall, making a forced statement on video. Rodriguez was the brother of attorney general for the Mexican state of Chihuahua, and his body was found a month later. CBS News has confirmed that two AK-47 variant assault rifles were among weapons found at the shootout with suspects, rifles from ATF's controversial Fast and Furious operation. That's the case in which agents say they let thousands of guns be sold to suspected traffickers from Mexican drug cartels. CBS News has learned that the day before last week's congressional hearing, U.S. officials privately informed Mexico's attorney general about the link to the killing. Two assault rifles were also found at the murder scene of Border Patrol agent Brian Terry last December, and others in the stash of suspected drug cartel members who shot at a Mexican government helicopter in recent weeks. All weapons believed to be sold on ATF's watch in the plan to let them walk on the streets and lead them to the big fish in the drug cartels. The lead ATF agent in that controversial case was Hope McAllister. In last week's hearing, agents said she ignored their concerns. Eyewitness, Special Agent Dots, and asked both Special Agent McAllister and Group Supervisor Vaught if they were prepared to attend the funeral of a slain agent or officer after he or she was killed with one of those straw purchase firearms. Neither one answered or even seemed concerned by the question posed to him. Yesterday, ATF awarded that very agent being criticized, McAllister, the National ATF Life Saving Award. Nobody from ATF would tell us exactly what that award is for. Later today, a bipartisan team from Congress will fly to Mexico as the next phase of their investigation moves south of the border. Jeff? Cheryl, meanwhile, another piece of news here. A, a former whistleblower at ATF got his termination papers just yesterday. I would even say he's a current whistleblower. Vince Cefalu is a longtime agent who started a website called Clean Up ATF. That site's largely responsible for exposing the gun walking case. And yesterday, ATF started the termination process for him for what they called lack of candor in an unrelated case. Sounds ironic. All right, Cheryl Atkinson, thank you very much this morning from Washington.